ladybugs. Little round beetles with red coats and black spots crawl through gardens and trees and flowers and pots. They are ladybugs. A crawling ladybug tickles your arm, but this little insect will cause you no harm. They are busy searching for food to eat. Tiny green insects called aphids taste sweet. A ladybug may flee in fear from a hungry bird landing near, but eating a ladybug is a waste for birds. They have a terrible taste. When a female ladybug has eggs to be laid, she finds a safe place on a leaf in the shade. In five days, the yellow eggs will turn white. The hatching day is now within sight. Tiny creatures climb out from the creamy white eggs. They have hairy gray bodies and long skinny legs. They are called larvae. Hungry larvae search for food right away. They can eat 100 aphids in a day. A larva's skin cannot stretch, and since this is so, it must shed its old skin in order to grow. This is called molting. Its skin splits apart, the larva wiggles free. Its new larger skin fits more comfortably. When a ladybug larva is almost fully grown, it attaches itself to a plant or a stone. It molts one last time, the skin it outgrew. When it emerges, it has become something new. It's a pupa. The pupa is covered by a tough orange skin. It hides the changes taking place within. Its worm-like body is rounding out. Its coat becomes smooth. Tiny wings sprout. In five days, the pupa's shell starts to crack. A beetle crawls out with no spots on its back. Soon, black spots come into sight. The yellow coat turns to red, fiery and bright. The new ladybug spreads its wings out to dry. A few hours pass, then it's able to fly. Its spotted wing covers move off to the sides. It beats its wings, and away it glides. The new ladybugs with red coats and black spots crawl through gardens and trees and flowers and pots. And then you have more on ladybugs if you're interested. That's the end.